So today I thought I'd share with you my top 12 books that I'm planning on reading in 2021. These are not necessarily the books that came out or are coming out in 2021. They're just books that I've been planning on reading for such a long time and I finally decided that 2021 would be the year that I would read them. So they mostly consist of some of the like modern classics and classics in general that I've been wanting to read for such a long time and haven't gotten to them yet. But then again, there are some newer books that are on this list as well that I'm pretty excited about and I really wanna get to them as soon as possible. So to make myself accountable for the books that I wanna read and to actually read them, I'm making this list and this video actually to kind of get it out there for me to see what I said I would read and then to see if I would read it at the end of the year I guess and I also just want to be at the point of having read those books to be honest so yes let's just start with the list the first book on this list is by an author that I love and I consider her to be one of my favorite authors although I have read only one book of hers and I don't know how it always happens to me, but I read one book of an author and then I consider them to be my favorite author and I, n I don't read anything else by them. The author I'm talking about is Donna Tartt and the book I really want to read is The Goldfinch. There's several reasons why I want to read this book. First of all, it's Donna Tartt. I like her writing, I liked her philosophical dialogues in The Secret History, I liked the way she created characters. Those were the types of characters that really um, deep, intelligent, but also unlikable, so I really like those types of characters. And I also want to read her book because I trust her, because she managed to do with The Secret History what very few authors do manage to do for me. This is why I have the greatest of hopes for The Goldfinch, and I can't wait to read it. I just know that it is about a 20-something person, and there's art and art theft may be included. So yeah, these are the things that I kind of know about it. Not very a lot at all. But still, um, basically I just want to read this because Donna Tartt wrote it. Next up we have another book that is pretty pretty popular and a lot of people has read it. Maybe like every person that I follow on Goodreads has read it. And it's a fantasy, it's an adult fantasy, which I've been getting into a lot lately. I realized that really, I really like fantasy and I'm trying to get into fantasy again. So the next book that I want to talk about is The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. So The Name of the Wind I consider kind of a modern classic already because it's such a popular book and everyone, basically everyone has read it who has any interest in fantasy, but also those people that don't. And I just want to read it to know what it is about to know whether the hype is real and also to enjoy it because I really am hoping to enjoy it. This is it's such a popular book and it is following someone whose morality is very ambiguous, which is an aspect of books that I always, always enjoy. The third book on my list is a classic, a proper, proper classic that I somehow missed reading in high school. I have watched the movie, so I'm probably, I mean, probably, I'm definitely spoiled for it, but I still want to read it a lot and it is Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy. But yes, I do want to read it, especially because lately, I don't know what it is, there's so many, like, royalty core playlists on YouTube, and I'm, like, so reminded of Anna Karenina when I see those royalty core playlists. Um, and I don't know, lately, I, I really felt like I want to read Anna Karenina because of it. I want the court, the dresses, the rich husband and the lover and, you know, the whole very dramatic, um, ultimately unfortunate end to the whole plotline. People who consider themselves to be readers have read this book and, I don't know, I don't need, like, approval of other people whether I am a reader or not, a proper reader or not, but still I kind of feel like I wanna and have to read the, this book to be considered like a proper reader. I don't know why, but like, I do want to have it finished, so I'll be like, yes, I've read Anna Karenina, okay? Goodbye. Next book that I want to read is a thousand-paged historical fiction set in Nip Napoleonic War area. We are following two characters, 
the opposite sides of the war and they're both warlocks. And the book I'm talking about is Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norell by Suzanne Clark. As I said, a historical fiction. I don't usually read that many historical fiction. I don't really like them. Ever since I read The Name of the Rose, I kind of discovered this new genre of historical fiction, which is more focused on philosophy and adult themes. I always get this like young adult-ish vibes, which I don't really like in my historical fiction. So now that I've discovered this whole new adult historical fiction kind of, I'm getting back into it. And Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell is not just historical fiction, it is also magical realism, which I didn't like before. And in 2020, I found beautiful books that were magical realism and my kind of wish to read those types of books returned and I honestly cannot wait. This is definitely like on the top, top, top five books that I want to read in 2021 um, and I cannot wait. I already ordered it and I cannot wait for it to come so I can read it. Next up we have Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. Lee Bardugo is the author that kind of creeped up into my life without me realizing and noticing because when I'm thinking about her books I know that I've read all of them almost because of the hype and I and none of them like lived up to the hype and yet <laughs> and yet I'm still going on to the next book and I like I bought so many of her books because the hype got to me and I, I, I'm thinking positively about those books which I didn't like as much when I finished reading them. I don't know if this happens to other people, but like so many um, fandoms on social media got me actually liking those books that I just thought were okay before. So now I just found myself wanting to read The Ninth House from Lee Bardugo. A lot of people said that it's got some dark academia vibes. I don't know anything about this book. I haven't looked at the summary. I'm not like really planning to look at the summary. I'm just like really wanna, I really wanna read the book without knowing anything about it. I just know that Lee Dugo is a good writer. So I will trust her this one last time for this book and I will read it. There's also the reason that the people who didn't really like uh, Six of Crows and other books love Ninth House. So I think it's a pretty different vibe from the, the books that she's written up until this point. The next book on this list is actually a non-fiction and it's the only book that I actually own and it is this one. <laughs> a Brief History of Time by Stephen Hawking. Yes. Um, this book is a pretty short non-fiction about a brief history of time and it is by Stephen Hawking and this is why I want to read it. Um, there's There's no deeper reason except that I hope this will make me smarter in some way, you know, um, I hope this will offer me some insight in um, physics, which is a, is a topic I'm trying to get into. I really, um, I really am trying. So yes, we will start with something easy and simple as that, this book, and then we'll, we'll go from there. There's nothing much to be said about this book, except that I really am looking forward to reading it and I hope this will be um, a great introduction into physics and, and science, basically. Next up we have a fantasy classic, which is The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan uh, and it is the first book in the Wheel of Time series. Now, recently I've heard about this series everywhere, basically, at least from the people who are reading fantasy and as I already mentioned, I'm really trying to get back into fantasy, especially adult fantasy and since this is considered one to be one of the classics of fantasy and one of the books that inspired so many fantasy books that are coming out today, I thought I really, I'd really have to or want to read the Wheel of Time series. Now, the thing with the Wheel of Time is that it wasn't finished and Brandon Sanderson actually finished the series, but everyone says that the ending ended up being really enjoyable and well written, so I'm not really minding the fact that the original writer didn't finish the series. But putting that all of that aside, there's around 13 books I think in the series, so if I start, it's really gonna be a huge, a huge like responsibility for me because it's 13 books and I don't like abandoning series, especially if I like the first book, but it's so hard for me to continue with the series after the first book, no matter what, no matter if I liked it. Um, it's really hard for me. So with this book, I'm really hoping to be like, 
to read all 13 books this year. Next up we have another classic and it is The Tale of Two Cities, A Tale of Two Cities by Dickens. Charles Dickens. <laughs> Um, this is the book that I want to read because it's a classic, there's no deeper reason. It's a book that has been referenced in many other works and I want to know finally what it is about. I never checked, I never looked at the summary, I don't wanna. I really want to get into the book without knowing anything about it. It's just like, I know it's a tale of two cities. That's all I know. And that's enough for me to be interested because I trust Dickens. Oliver Twist was actually one of my, still continues to be one of my favorite books that I've read in school. So I really hope that he won't disappoint with this one. Next up, we have a modern classic written by one of my favorite authors as well. And a person who wrote one of my favorite books as well. And it is Atlas Shrugged by Ayn Rand. I read her The Fountainhead when I was in the first year of high school and I fell in love with it. I haven't reread it ever. So I'm planning to reread The Fountainhead as well this year, but more importantly, I really want to get to one of her, at least one, if not all of her other books, to see whether she is actually my favorite author. Because the same with Donna Tart, um, I also consider Ayn Rand to be my favorite author, although I read only one of her books. So I will be reading Atlas Shrugged this year, finally. I also have no idea what it is about, I just know that it is by Ayn Rand and that's reason enough to read it. I really hope it will fulfill all of the expectations that I have. And the last one is a science fiction and it is The Children of Time by Adrian Tchaikovsky or Adrian, I don't know, like the nationality of the author, author, I think it's Adrian. So anyway, this is another thing, another goal of 2021 for me is to read more science fiction. I realized that I like science fiction, I enjoy every and any book that I read that is science fiction, however I never choose them. I always end up accidentally reading science fiction and I'm like wow it's the best book that I've read this year and I don't continue with the trend. And this year I'm trying to mend that, I'm trying to read more science fiction, um, as well as fantasy, those two genres are really my favorite genres, basically. I always do this, like, I find my favorite author and then I don't read anything else from that author. And then I find my favorite genres and I don't read that favorite genre. And it's driving me insane. Like, why do I do this to myself? Why? Like, I have this feeling, like, I have to try everything before I decide on anything and... I'm really trying to fix that this year. I'm really trying to just enjoy things that I know that I already enjoy instead of just continually try new things and force things that I don't like to begin to like, which, I've, which I did before. And now I'm trying to change this and this is why I wanna read a classic basically or a modern classic or a book that a lot of people who usually read science fiction has read and it is The Children of Time by Adrian Tchaikovsky. Again, I don't really know what this is about. I just know it's a popular book. There may be spiders in there, in there, maybe not. Maybe I'm mixing this book with another book. The point is that it's one of the most popular books of science fiction that I have on my TBR and I really want to read it this year. Okay, now that I've mentioned all 12 books that I'm trying to read in 2021, I want to know what you think. What is the top book or the top I don't know, five books that you want to get to in 2021. I really would like to know. And what are your reading resolutions? I think I've shared mine already, that I'm trying to read more fantasy and science fiction and basically the genres that I know I enjoy and read more books by authors that I consider my favorite, to be my favorite, from which I still haven't read some books. So yes, I am interested to see and to hear what your resolutions are. Now subscribe to my channel and then go read a book. Bye.